number one rated Cornhuskers of Nebraska. And very likely you'll be watching the 1983 Heisman Trophy winner, Mike Rozier, favored by most to win the award. He's averaging nearly eight yards per carry, and he is on the verge of tying or breaking five NCAA rushing and scoring records. He'll be in action today. Mike Rozier making his final appearance at home at Memorial Stadium, a tremendous ovation from another sellout crowd here in Lincoln. Willie Pless almost made the recovery, number 60, but he didn't get there in time. So here's Rozier, flipping to the outside, and a game of nine. Great interior lineman, and an almost certain first-round pick. And first down, this is Rozier. Mike Rozier told us yesterday this is his favorite play. Look at it. It's student body left. Now it's Benning and Grimminger who make the key blocks that spring him along the left side. Then it's just a foot race to the end zone. Remember, he has 4-5 speed in the 40-yard dash. The quarterback. To Rozier. Pass the play. Rozier nearly broke that one. He gets the first down. They stop him at the... 33-yard line. Second down and seven from the 37-yard line. And Rozier moves to the outside, breaks the tackle, and works his way out to the 45-yard line. And Gill is now two for four in the passing department for 22 yards. So it's first down, and it's Rozier into Kansas territory, and he was one man away from breaking that one all the way. Some of the records, uh, the possible records, most 100-yard games, most points in a season, rushing TDs. We told you about that one with Lydell Mitchell. And uh, a couple of career rushing average marks. Second down and seven. Here's Rozier again. The Red Sea parts for him, and it's a touchdown. So Mike Rozier has gone in again, and he ties Lydell Mitchell's NCAA record. 26 rushing touchdowns in a season, and this man still has a full game plus three quarters of this one to go. Nebraska on top by a score of 14 to nothing, and on third down and two from the 25-yard line, Mike Rozier, first and 10 for Nebraska. And Rozier to the 40, and he's finally tackled at the 48-yard line. This is the key to any great running back, is the hole opening up. Look at the size of that. Of course, he breaks the tackle right there. Mark Shaleen gets a block that helps bring him. Irving's almost world class. Yep. Third and inches, Rozier, a first down, maybe a touchdown, no. He was tripped up on a touchdown saving tackle by Elvis Patterson, number 32. In man coverage, but they're going to uh, keep it on the ground, and Rozier can tap his way into the end zone. Three touchdowns, and there's a new NCAA record. He had tied Lydell Mitchell, and now with 27 rushing touchdowns this season, his name alone is in the books. Second down and 10 with Fryer in motion from the 17-yard line. Again, we've got the Whirlybird action and the pitch to Rozier. And Rozier breaks tackles and scores his fourth touchdown of the game. And he has established a new Big 8 rushing record with that touchdown. Four touchdowns today. He had four last week. The whole second unit offensive line is in there right now for Nebraska. And it is Rozier. Getting inside the 20, and Mike gets bumped down at the 14-yard line. Well, Mike Rozier closing out his home career today. There are his numbers in less than a half. An incredible day. Four touchdowns, and I spoke with Mike yesterday during practice. Mike, most people feel that you have a lock on the Heisman Trophy. How significant will it be for you to win it? Well, um, I'll be pretty happy about winning the Heisman, but um, like I was telling other other reporters, you know, I ain't come here to win the Heisman. My main goal is, you know, finish up school and play ball here at the University of Nebraska and win a national championship. I've never heard of another player make All-American in successive years in different positions. Well, Mike Rozier is going to add to his total. He gets the first down. He gets out to the 36-yard line. Or just going for his personal stats, yeah. which is wrong. First down from the 37-yard line. And it's Rozier getting past the 40 out to the 45-yard line. He's tough. He's running as hard right now as he was when the score was nothing, nothing. First and 10 from the 19-yard line. It's Rozier with a nice-looking hole. 
And he's out to the 27, and that's the ultimate gang tackle right there. About seven guys hitting him. 4.6 in the 40-yard dash. Second down and a yard and a half, and it's Big Mike again to the 38-yard line. Well, here just having an incredible day. A first down with four minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the third period, and that is a new Nebraska single-game record, as you can see, and thus the response from the crowd. And they have afforded Mr. Rozier numerous standing O's in the last three years, and yet another one today. Mike Rozier, who spent most of the second quarter on the bench. First down from the 38-yard line, Rozier again. He's going to add to that record. He's into Kansas territory, and again, he was about one tackle away from breaking it all the way as he gets to the 44-yard line. Very shortly, we're going to have to be thinking in terms of an NCAA record. Right off the top of my head, I think the number is 350 yards. Now, take a look at Rozier all the way. You see the quick start. You see the acceleration. Look at the juke step. Look at the inside-outside move. Watch the cutting ability, the strength, the agility. We've talked about the fact that he is such a complete football player. Mike Rozier appears to be uh, finished for the day. And what a day for Mike. Wrapping up his career at Memorial Stadium. Again, they look right there at Rozier, who uh, came within 71 yards, assuming he's done for the day, he came within 71 yards of breaking the mark set by Eddie Lee Ivory. Again, a look at some of the records that uh, belong under his name right now. Not Rozier, though. He's not low-key at all. We're out here yesterday at practice. These guys are not only uh, fine football players, Fryer and Gill and Rozier, but uh, a lot of fun to be around. Good people. We wish them luck. These are going to have some great pro careers. There's no question about that. And they can look back upon uh, this season as one in which uh, they might very well win a national championship. I just can't see anybody beat this team.